have to think about. Shackle the horse and he was out there. Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. Boss awaits upstairs. You bloody tell us what this is about. Just as soon as Geralt arrives, should he arrive. Oh, if you want a flower and talk, the least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspense has made my throat dry. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Run up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I told you. Stop it! I've an idea how to draw him out to dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo! Bloody bravo! Now, now, it's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovid's hired you to find Philippa? Mm -hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout, somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle, built up both sides, lots of nooks, gates, easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men, post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate, and in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deekstra and I have many cocksapping virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. Not as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kid. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just round the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. The bridge must be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fight? If they're there. Philippa? What the hell are you doing here? Geralt. Don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Radovid's lost his mind. Doesn't think rationally anymore. That's why. That is why he may very well choose to torture you, even if you brought me to him in chains. Just because. Philippa, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more than pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. A Danian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. 
Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. Helpful. Thanks. Don't mention it. Believe me, I'm prepared to do much more to be rid of Radovid. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. What's the problem? Fuck! Another non-human! You're everywhere! Silence! Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chore. You willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be, don't you, Fred? Now just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two pricks. They share a warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who sick the ghoul or the strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. So what'll it be, would ya? Fine. I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan. I didn't get a good look at the monk, but now you mention it, it could very well be. Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. Care of the beast? Yes. I knew Iron Witch would be quickest. So figure out how it got in there. You hired me to kill the beast, not investigate. Well, oh, fair enough. It's just I'll still have to muck around in the matter. Would have played extra not to. Here, this is for you. And we'll go to the garrison, talk to the captain. He can try to get to the bottom of this. Witcher Geralt, what do you want? An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me, like the others. What others? Uh, you see, a rumor went around that I generously reward any who bring information about Eilhart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it, showering with gold. I had him blinded, then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt, claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh, and I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. 
I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Well, where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. This how you reward those who serve you? It is how I punish those who irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow me. Any last words? Fuck! Free the Witcher, then Radovid! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. That settles the score. And that was from the heart. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? 
And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Bradovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Well, what? Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Tamaria. Tamaria! Bloody Tamaria! Tamaria. What now, Roach? A new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? No. The war just ended. How's that? There's something I don't know about? I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes. I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich Ed and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Tamaria. Which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet. But I'm not, so all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Haven't told me the whole truth. You're right on that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics, decided to emphasize majors and whatnot. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horse. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilfgaardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own. I've 
You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. Geralt? Found something that might belong to you. That skull some sort of accessory? If so, you've changed your style a bit. It's a weapon. Don't remember ever seeing you with that? It's as you said. I've changed my style. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me, trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eredin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. I still can't get something out of my mind. What? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yan. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have... Mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know. So she wrote him her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. 
Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. You make it sound important. So, guess it's not exactly common knowledge. I'd even call it a secret. How do you manage to hide it? Oh, I assure you he's excellent at covering his tracks, though not terribly subtle. But I'm even better at uncovering them. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Land of the NL? You don't recall. After all, you did travel with Eredin for some time. The land of the Elder Folk. The world where we arrived centuries ago. A world that is now our home. The Red Riders come from there. And it is there where we will find Gels. Think you're forgetting something. You and Ciri might know how to travel between worlds. But me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. The passage is here, past this wall. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, you must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea? Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... 
that there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world to the last drop. Ah, the portal. It looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. somewhere and I gotta find that next passage quick if I can just find cover along the way I should make it to the passage took you a while did you run into trouble mm, no just taking in the sights what is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? What would it have changed? Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek, but I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. 
Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dada, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than yours. Oh, who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crevana, Spain, at Coleman Maca and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crevan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Got any vodka? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL Elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt. A true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? 
tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advised Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? And proclaim Avalach our new king? Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? Face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tien Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let girls go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe girls will keep his word. Withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses at the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. Grew curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. 
Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan. And he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there. Stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped. Because it seems he's recovered. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Make a deal, maybe? Uh, yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. That was strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. Do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, cause you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard. The mama's plate. Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo-doo. God! You give me quite the scare. Wouldn't have had to if you hadn't impersonated Horson. What the blazes were you thinking? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his. In a way. Sharing it. With a doubler named Dudu. That was courageous, Dudu. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way. You've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Chose an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times, but mostly I'm careful. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu.
Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? Friends of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Look awfully suspicious to me, Tram. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalok was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Give you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Eugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my! It's beautiful! Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. I do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. What'd I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus before us. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novus. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. 
then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where's this friend of yours? Hmm. There! Valdo! Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? What's your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Let us start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. What's eating him? Oh, don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Faster. You were faster once! Giving you a head start! You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold, what did you feel? Hmm. Well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? 
what awaits us. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Meaning? Ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. I granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Just buy the horses. Why can't you? With what coin? Siri gave you a full pouch. Enough for one at most, whereas at the least we need four. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear, and it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Try to get inside. All right. Arr! That good. Wait here. I'll go Hard inside. Find good the guards for these you. days. Quiet. You'll wake them. Before they wake the guards. Calm the 
horses. A bait me and a pass. will open the door. Excellent work. Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. <laughs>